Eruvin 56b. The sage is taught, one who squares a city in order to determine its Shabbat limit renders it like a square tablet, and then he also squares the Shabbat boundaries and renders them like a square tablet. Consequently, after squaring the city, he adds additional squares of 2,000 cubits to each of its sides. And when he measures the Shabbat limit, he should not measure the 2,000 cubits diagonally from the middle of each corner of the city, because if he were to do so, he would lose the corners, i.e. the limit would extend only 2,000 cubits on the diagonal from each of the corners. Rather, he measures the boundary as though he brought a square tablet that is 2,000 cubits by 2,000 cubits and places it at each corner at its diagonal. As a result, it will be found that the city gains 400 cubits in this corner and another 400 cubits in the opposite corner, assuming that the city itself is round and has a diameter of 2,000 cubits. As will be explained below, when the borders of the city are squared, approximately 400 cubits are added to the city at each corner. When one then squares the Shabbat boundaries, it is found that the Shabbat boundaries gain 800 cubits in this corner and 800 cubits in the opposite corner. Consequently, by squaring both the city itself and its Shabbat boundaries, it is found that the city and the Shabbat boundaries together gain 1,200 cubits in this corner and 1,200 cubits in the opposite corner. A base said, and you find this projection of the additions to the city's borders and Shabbat boundaries to be correct in the case of a round city that is 2,000 cubits by 2,000 cubits. The Gemara cites a similar discussion with regard to the Levite cities. The 48 cities given to the Levites in Eretz Yisrael instead of a tribal inheritance. It was taught in a Beretta that Rabbi Eliezer, son of Rabbi Yose, said, The boundary of the cities of the Levites extends 2,000 cubits in each direction beyond the inhabited section of the city. Remove from them a thousand cubits of open space just beyond the inhabited area, which must be left vacant. Consequently, the open space is one quarter of the extended area, and the rest is fields and vineyards. The Gemara asks, from where are these matters? From where is it derived that the open space surrounding the cities of the Levites measured a thousand cubits? Rava said, as the verse states, and the open spaces of the cities that you shall give to the Levites shall be from the wall of the city and outward a thousand cubits round about. Numbers 35 verse 4. The Torah states, surround the city with a thousand cubits on all sides to serve as an open space. Consequently, the open space is one quarter of the area. The Gemra asks, Is it one quarter? It is one half. One thousand cubits is exactly half of the two thousand cubits incorporated into the boundary of the cities of the Levites. Rava said, Bar Ada, the surveyor, explained the calculation to me. You will find this in a city that is 2,000 cubits by 2,000 cubits. How many cubits is the extended boundary of the city itself, without the corners? 16 million square cubits. Squares measuring 2,000 by 2,000 cubits are appended to each of the four sides of the city. The area of each of these squares is 4 million square cubits. 
and the total area of all the additional squares is 16 million square cubits. How many cubits are the corners? 16 million square units as additional squares of 2,000 by 2,000 cubits are appended to the corners of the outer boundaries of the cities. Subtract 8 million square cubits from the area of the extended boundary for the open space around the city. The first thousand cubits beyond the inhabited part of the city must be left as open space, which amounts to areas measuring 1,000 by 2,000 cubits on each of the four sides of the city, for a total of 8 million square cubits. Add, subtract, no, and subtract another 4 million square cubits from the corners as sections of the corners are parallel to the open spaces. How much is the sum total of the area of the open spaces? 12 million square cubits. The Gemara asks, according to this calculation, how is the open space found to be one quarter of the area? It is more than one third. The entire area of the extended boundary is 32 million square cubits and the open space occupies 12 million square cubits, which is more than one third of the total area of the extended boundary. The Gemma explains, Bring the 4 million square cubits of the city itself and add them to the area of the limit, and you will arrive at the correct ratio. The Gemara asks, The open space is still one-third, as the total area of the city and, is extend and its extended boundary is 36 million square cubits, and the area of the open space is 12 million square cubits. The Gemara answers, Do you think that this halakha was stated with regard to a square city? It was, in fact, stated with regard to a round city. The open space beyond the city is also round. However, the total extended boundary is squared, so that the total area of a round city with a diameter of 2,000 cubits and its extended boundary is 36 million square cubits. The Gemara explains the calculation. How much larger is the area of a square than the area of the circle? One quarter. Subtract one quarter from the 12 million square cubits of open space, and 9 million square cubits are left and 9 is precisely 1 quarter of 36. Abe said, You will also find that the open space is 1 quarter of the total area in a city that is 1,000 cubits by 1,000 cubits. How many cubits is the extended boundary of the city without the corners? It is 8 million square cubits. Additional areas are appended along each side of the city and extending 2,000 cubits beyond the city itself. Each of these areas is 2,000 cubits by 1,000 cubits for a total area of 2 million square cubits. Since there are four of these zones, their total area is 8 million square cubits. How many cubits are the corners? They are 16 million square cubits. As squares of 2,000 cubits by 2,000 cubits are added to each of the four corners.